What's up, y'all? It is another Sunday morning, one of my days off. I'm headed to town to grab Shane. Um, we got a little bit of work to do today. I think we're going to try to move one of our big excavator machines. Um, I don't know yet. We got to pick our trucks up from the shop, kind of get those situated around. I believe Matt got the corn header fixed from our fiasco we had last weekend. Um, so we're just rounding some things up. We are going to water rice for the last week, this coming week, and then we're going to start draining some. So that's what we do towards the end of the season. We drain the water off of it, let it dry up. That way we can harvest it on dry ground as long as it doesn't rain a bunch. So anyway, stay tuned. What's up? We're down here at the grain bins. I'm uh, going to show you the other thing that we got the other day. We bought this little 85 horse tractor for the farm. We were using my little other one, but this one's actually got more horsepower. Um, it's just a four wheel drive, 2140. It's got two hydraulic remotes on the back. It's got a uh, quad range transmission. But this will be the tractor that we can use for filling levees, different things like that, running augers. Um, you need a little tractor around because you don't want to tie up one of your big ones when they can be doing something else. So I got to come down here and get the little tractor we just bought. Um, we got to hook up to our heavy equipment trailer. And it... Uh, the front of it kind of falls down a little bit, so we need something to pick it up. So I'm going to run this little tractor down there so we can get it hooked up. After several failed attempts, we uh, finally got the low boy hooked up to the Freightliner. For some reason, the tongue was dropping down, and we had to get our Mini X up here and pick it up. It was a it was a mess. Nothing can ever be easy, but we got it hooked up now, and we're headed out to the big Komatsu excavator. I'm gonna bring it to town. That is our Komatsu 150. Uh, it weighs around 37,000 pounds, I think. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. So we've got the big machine loaded. We're headed up there. Hopefully this solves our stump problem. We don't know for sure that it will, but uh, this is our best chance at it. So we're going to follow him to town.
Well, we got it unloaded. Uh, got to put some hydraulic oil in it. You hear that pump whining. I just wanted to get it off the trailer tonight. We can go free that trailer up or get that truck up. But I'll come back uh, one day this week after work and try to get that stump out. I don't even know if that's going to handle it, but we're going to try it. We got a bush hog our lot up here. Somebody was supposed to cut it for hay, but they never showed up. So we're probably going to bush hog it. But we're either going to get the stump out this week or we're going to bury that joker where it sits. I don't know. I know that we've got builders waiting to get started and uh, we're not making any progress. So we're going to make a decision on that this week. Corn headers put back together. Shane and Matt put that back together. We're going to run through the combine. We got some things to tighten up and check and leaks to fix and shields to put on and it'll be ready to go anyway we're gonna call it a night thanks guys for watching please like subscribe share uh, hit the notification bell it helps us out a bunch thank you guys